Hey, uh, in this video, I'm going to help you set up a server and this server is going to be split into two parts. First, we are going to buy the server separately and I'm going to use a company called Contabo to buy a four virtual CPU and an eight gig RAM server. And then you're going to install an operating system on the server, a panel that is going to help you install WordPress applications, manage SSL certificates and DNS settings, etc. Okay, so stay tuned. This video is going to really help you take control of your server. Your server is the strongest part of your uh, website itself because the power of your server is going to determine how fast your websites are going to load, how much traffic they can acquire, how much traffic they can set up to and how much traffic can you actually get into your websites on a day-to-day -day basis all right i know that a lot of website hosting companies like hostinger hostgator uh, wpx hosting there are a lot of hosts out there and they charge a minimum of 25 30 40 50 dollars even like cloudways and they do not give you the amount of specifications that you actually deserve so if you want to take control you want to get the most value for your money then you need to split the server up and the control panel up if you follow this video and this tutorial, you will get the fastest server possible and you will also understand the exact settings that you need to do in order to take control of your server. So let's get onto my screen and I'm going to show you the exact step-by-step -step method to achieve all this. So first we are going to go into this website called Contabo.com. Okay, Contabo is a server company, so they let rent out servers. So as you can see here, I am on the main homepage now and they have multiple types of servers available. So what we are going to be interested in is the cloud virtual private server. Now they also have dedicated servers. Now these are more powerful. They give you more privacy. They, uh, they give you more power in short. Okay. But these are going to be more expensive. So if you're just starting out, a VPS is more than enough. A VPS is what I use to host my own website and i also host use this to host all my clients website so this is where you start off with and as your business grows as your traffic goes as you see a lot more uh, visitors coming onto your website and if you see that you are getting a lot of return on investment your business is making money you can slowly start upgrading to a more powerful server so come into the website let's go to the vps section and let's click on cloud vps and here as you see uh, they have multiple options available so what we are going to select for this particular tutorial is their vps small s this is more than powerful enough they give you four virtual cpu cores and eight gp ram now i want you to go and compare this to all the other options out there take any dedicated hosting company or go to places like DigitalOcean, vulture linode uh, even aws and see what kind of pricing they charge for a four virtual cpu core and eight gp ram you'll be surprised at how much you can save so what we are going to do is select, I recommend start off with the VPSS, but if you want, go to ML, Excel, that's up to you. Let's select it. And then you're going to come into this checkout page where they're going to ask you what kind of uh, duration do you want? So select on a monthly basis. I think the monthly basis is perfectly optimized. It's okay. Then you need to select the region. Now, many of my websites are hosted directly on European Union. As you see, there's a little surcharge depending on the location that you have so if you want it in asia if you want it in the us if you want it in the uk there is a little bit of surcharge now if you are sure that all your visitors are from a particular region majority wise then select the server that is closest to your place for this tutorial i am going to keep it to european union and then i come down to the storage type now they give you 200 gb of solid state drive for free or you can also opt for the 50 GB NVMe. The NVMe disks are a little bit more faster. So I recommend if you do not, if you're not going to, or not planning to host a lot of applications and websites on one server, choose the 50 GB NVMe. But if you are going to host a lot of websites and applications, take the 200 GB solid state type. There's a minor speed difference. I'm going to select the NVMe here. And then let's come down to the image. Now this is where they, or Contabo itself is offering you certain options of control panels that you can directly install while they set up the server for you so you could go for plesk cpanel etc what we are going to do is use a completely separate server panel that's going to be called server avatar so for that you have to use the ubuntu 20.04 it's a free they just install the software for you the operating system and then based on that server avatar will install the own their own control panel so select either 20.04 or 22.04. I'm going to select 22.04 here. 
then you need to give a new root password for your server. So give a strong password that you are going to remember. Then come down. You don't need to change any of the settings here. Once you do that, I'm going to give a temporary password here. Okay, and let's go to next. As you see, there's a one-time setup fee of $4.50. This is just the first time charge. After that, it's going to be a monthly price of $4.50. Okay, once you do that, fill in your name, your details, your email, etc. And they are going to ask you to pay via PayPal or a credit card. Pay it and then you are good to go. Okay, so once this is done, Quantabo is going to take a certain amount of time and then they will get back to you via email giving you the login information of the new server so let me go to my email now i have already done this process which is why i'm skipping this part and after a few hours you will get an email like this so you see i placed an order a few hours ago and then they sent me an email they gave me the ip address of the new server the location which is in eu They've also given some additional password, okay, VNC and all. We are not going to use all that, but all the information is going to be contained in this email. So once you receive this email, you are good to go. So let's now move on to the second part. So we bought the server now of 4 CPU, 8 GB RAM. We are going to move on to the control panel section. So now we are going to host or install a control panel for our server okay and the one that i recommend now is server avatar so come to serveravatar.com and then go to the pricing page and you will see their pricing for a server basis so if you are going to use just one website it's for your own business your own blog etc you need just the newbie plan it's nine dollars per month they allow you to install three servers on it okay Maybe you start off with just one, but if you decide tomorrow to get another blog, another website, and you want a new server dedicated for it, it's all contained within the $9 per month plan. And you get all the features. The only thing that you don't have is team collaboration. But if you're a one-man army, you're a single business owner, and you have only one website, and you're going to manage it all yourself, you don't need the team plan. I have a team plan because I have a team, I have multiple servers, multiple clients, and I use the team plan where they allow me to manage unlimited servers. So for every client, uh, that comes to host with us we install them on a dedicated server i mean a private own server and then we install the server of our installation platform on that all right so once you do this click on a seven days free trial if you just want to test it out start a seven days free trial once you click on it they're going to ask you for your email and all now i have already done it so this is a demo account of mine which is why you already see me i have hosted two servers out here and i'm going to show you how to host the newest server that we've got now okay so once you log in you have to pay some credits here and you know fund your account so that the nine dollars per month is going to be automatically deducted but once you're in you will be coming into this dashboard section like this now there are a lot of uh, different tabs here i'm not going to go through each and every tab on this video because this video i want to make it short and i want to ensure that you get the knowledge on how to install a server panel and get the server up and running as quick as possible they also have this documentation tab so anytime you are in need of certain documentation click on it open in a new tab and they have organized it tab wise so check all the details here okay but i will also make a separate video sometime later if you want to know more information on the dedicated tabs within server of that all right so we are here now what we are going to do is click on the create button and we are going to create a server we're going to create a custom server, but they also give you integration directly to some of the popular uh, servers like Amazon LightSail, DigitalOcean, etc. We are going to use a custom. What we need is, first of all, a name. So let's give it a name here. I name it as 5x server 3. And I'm going to enter the IP address of this. So I go back to my email. I copy the IP address from here. I paste it out. Then I need to enter the root password. Okay, so we have the password here, the SSH port, keep the port as 22, and here we need to select what kind of a configuration we want to install on the server. Now, Server Avatar provides you with three configurations, the LAMP, which is having an Apache as the main server configuration. We have the LEMP, where you have the Nginx as the main configuration, and then you have the Open Light Speed Stack. Now, from my experience, and especially if you're going to install the 
five x stack of plugins for your WordPress management, I recommend stick to either the Apache or the Nginx. I have tested it out with Open Light Speed, and some of the plugins they have a problem with the Open Light Speed configuration. Okay, especially when you want to take backups, etc. Some of the uh, plugins are not going to work well in the Open Light Speed stack. So. From my experience, it's better to stick to LAMP or the LAMP, which is the Nginx version, okay? So I'm gonna select LAMP here, and I keep it to the MySQL Maria, MySQL database, and what I'm going to do is click on Connect Now. We're gonna wait for some time. I think Server Avatar is going to check the connection with the server and see if it can establish a connection. And once it establishes the connection, what it's going to do is start installing its control panel on our server. So as you see, the server has been created successfully. It's the inspecting is done and it's starting to set up the service. Now, it says that it's going to approximately take about five to 15 minutes to complete this. So all you can do now is be patient, wait for the whole installation and the setup to be complete. And once the setup is complete, I will resume this video and we can go forward on this. So as you see here, the server installation is going on. It's been about three or four minutes. It's reached 90%. There are multiple steps that Server Avatar is performing in installing the necessary, necessary panels here. Okay, so be patient. All right, that took less than five minutes to be honest. It took only three or four minutes. And as you see, the server is ready for us. So this is the server panel itself. Uh, let me go back to back to servers. And as you see, now I have three servers here. So I'm going to click on 5S Server 3, which is the newest server that we've installed. Click on it and this is the main control panel here where it shows you certain information about the servers, how many applications you have. An application is basically the website that you're going to install and how many databases, if you're running any cron jobs, how many application users you have, what is the server load at this point in time. It shows that it's 4.5%, how much memory out of the 8 GB that you're using. So you see you're using 9.1% because some memory is used by the server of the platform itself. And you have an available of 7 GB. You're using only 0.71. This is the disk, this is the hard disk. So we bought a 50 GB NVMe disk. And as you can see, the server of the installation itself is using up some of the space, the operating system and the server of the panel. So you still have about 40 GB left. And this is a swap memory. This is, uh, I do not know what it is to be honest. So uh, uh, in short, you get the information about your server as is necessary. And on this screen here, you will get the server load information. So if you install a website and you're getting a lot of traffic over a period of time, it's going to populate and it's going to show you how much traffic spikes are you getting on a time by time duration. Okay, so check out this uh, server panel. This is where you get all the most important information about your server and then what we are most interested in is the next step, which is the applications. An application is basically a website or any kind of code that you want to install. For our case, it's going to be a WordPress website that we're going to install. Now, once we are, we have the server ready, we're going to come here, click on create, and this time we're creating an application. So we have to enter an application name. Now there are two ways to do this. If you already have a domain name purchased, for example, you have your own domain name, you have purchased from GoDaddy, Google Domains, whatever, you can also install that on the server. If you do not have a domain name and you're only testing it out, like the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to click on this test domain. So this way, server avatar is going to give us a test URL for us to uh, install WordPress, do all the testing, and once we are ready with it, we can change over the domain name to our own custom domain, okay? So let's open, I'm going to call this test 5x server 3 okay that's going to be my name and then we can also give it a name so let's call it test 5x server 3 dot and this is the temporary url that you get i think there are a few that you can choose from so i'm happy with this and then it's asking what kind of a method let's click on the one click option here and i'm going to also select wordpress it's auto selected i'll keep it at wordpress let's give it a name test blog site Let's give a username here, okay, I'm going to give some username. You can also give your own admin. Funnel.com, give a password. Then uh, it's asking where do you want to install the database? We are going to say in the current server itself. Do you want to give a database name? Yes, okay, we can give it as server 3 for this point in time. But 
I always encourage that give the database name very similar so that you can understand how it is linked to each other. Okay, so give always give names that you can remember later on. And let's click on show advanced options. It's going to ask you if you want to create a new username. So we can also do that. If you want to create your own username, do that. Give it a password. The PHP level is already selected. Let's leave it. This one, the custom web root also, I recommend leave it empty. Let it automatically figure it out. And then let's create an application. So now what it's doing is it's install, it's creating this new website, test server 5x3. It's also going to install WordPress in it. And this is possibly going to take, as you saw, less than 10 seconds, WordPress application has been installed successfully. Okay, now, so this is our temporary domain right now. If I click on it, it'll go there, but I'll show you that it shows a not secure option. That's because SSL is not installed on it. So let's go on below this and you have this SSL certificate. Let's go here and we will click on automatic installation of an SSL certificate. So let's click on it and then we say install automatic SSL. This again is going to take about 15 to 30 seconds. Be patient, wait for it, and SSL is going to be installed. All right, that took 10 seconds. SSL certificate has been successfully installed. We are also going to come down and force the HTTP to a secure version, HTTPS. Let's click on that. We have the test block now. Let's refresh it. And as you see, the SSL certificate has been already installed. So this is WordPress already installed. We have our website. If you want to go into the backend, uh, go on to your URL, click slash WP admin, and it's going to ask you to log in. I already gave an admin password, I guess. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can remember it. And let's see if I log in. All right. Okay. So we are into the back end of our WordPress dashboard. A fresh new installation has been done. Come into plugins and do whatever you want. Update or delete this. Let's delete the existing plugins. You can go into next after this is deleted. Go into add new, install the plugins and you have your website ready. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. So I highly recommend watch this video one more time if you're a little confused. You need to get a server from a dedicated server. I recommend Contabo. They are one of the most value for money server rentals. And I have been using them for over one and a half, two years now. Excellent performance, solid uptime. I have not faced any problem. If they are going to do some maintenance on the servers, they send an email and let us know that, hey, uh, at least a week before they let us know that this is going to, and maintenance is going to be performed. So you have time to plan your websites accordingly. I have been using server avatar for some time now also very nice it has all the features that we actually need i'll make a dedicated video on it later sometime but i recommend this stack of buying a server from contabo and then installing it on server avatar it's the most cheapest value for money alternative the only downside to it you have to be a little bit knowledgeable you need to know how you can manage your plans so follow this channel subscribe to this and then if you have any doubts if you need any more information drop them in the comments below and i will make sure that i make a dedicated video about it so all the best to all of you and see you in the next one